and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I've got tons, stacks of beads that I want to do a little bit of beading on some hydro dipping fabric that we've done recently. And just want to explore using different sizes of beads and different color schemes and going with the under the sea coral theme. So now we get into it. So I just did this recently. We all did some hydro dipping on this faux leather. And I just thought what would be really nice would be to do some beading on here. And to tell you the truth, I have got stacks and stacks of beads, even more up there and there. <laughs> so I think it'd be really great to do like an a sort of coral reefy type under the sea piece. So I think this will be really good to work with because it's quite sturdy as well, quite stiff. And I think I'll concentrate on some of these parts that the spray paint didn't take on. So let's get started. And just to say the hydro dipping video was the last one, the last yeah, two videos away, and I just cut up this faux leather skirt from a charity shop. By the way, if you haven't come across these beading needles before, they're absolutely superb because when I open it up in a minute, basically they just twang open like this. And there is the massive eye of the needle, which is so useful for threading up. So I found this beautiful photography of under the sea with lots of different coloured corals and surfaces that I want to try and interpret into some beading. So really enjoying it actually. It's really, really relaxing. Just experimented with using sequins and putting tiny beads in between them and just changing up the shades of colours and just starting to add a new colour over at the side here. I'll insert the picture that I've been influenced by. So hope and just to show you but I'm sure you've probably done this before. I'm just popping the sequin down and then picking up oops a few beads like that and then I just go down I leave one bead out and then just go down the others but I'm in a bit of a funny position here I'm not sitting down properly let me see if I can just do this in front of you my needle down and then I'm going back through the center of the sequin And then I would just tie a little knot on the back of this faux, whoopsie daisy, faux leather. These are just some dangly bits that I've put down over there. So I'm just going to carry on with it over this side. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Right, so this is where we're up to. So I've done quite a bit more. And I'm just gonna continue down this side. I still want to have, obviously, some of the hydro dipping showing through. So I'm not gonna cover the whole thing up because what would be the point of that? But I'm really liking all of these different lengths of beads and just creating different textures. Just building up this 
middle layer here. Found some really nice beads that I had, that I've not used. And I've been adding some of these flower corally bits as well. So just getting a few down. I think I'm sort of coming to the end of this one now. I'm just going to add this huge bead here in the corner. Okay, so I'll explain to you what I've done with this and I'll insert the image I've been working from in here. So, I think you've seen the top area and then I've started building it up quite a lot of texture going on here with some height as well try and get it from the side there and then i've gone huge with some of these beads over here and i've had to go using these large sequins with beads in between them and then split up a necklace and started adding some really pretty pot beads in there and over here So that one's finished and I also wanted to show you, and I think some of you have seen this before, I've done it very early on on Instagram. I did it for an art summer school class and a load of beading onto a fascinator. And it was the same theme, but you can see I've used quite a few other different materials in there. We've even got some feathers and... This is washing line, which I'm prone to using with some sequins on the end and some scoobies. And yeah, really enjoyed making that one. And I also had one more and you've probably seen it in the background of all the videos in the past, but these are elastic bands actually that I've used and some folded over. And we've got part of a grass skirt there. <laughs> And yeah, I just try and use loads of different materials really. And that's just on some black cotton stretched into, as you can see, an embroidery hoop. Oh, and that's a scouring sponge as well, which I just thought they were quite pretty, the colors. And these are some little ribbons cut off from clothing. And yeah, what else have we got? Yeah. Really enjoyed doing that one as well, so. There we go. Just to give it a little bit of a context, I just thought we'd have a look and see what the beading piece looks like with all the other samples. That's really heavy now. you've enjoyed this video today and that you found it useful maybe it's something that you would like to get into I have to say it was very therapeutic and relaxing and so I recommend it if um, you would like to support me it would be wonderful if you could subscribe it would really help me out I would love to grow the channel obviously it is growing and I'm really happy with it if you could share the channel that would be so useful I shall see you in the very next video.